These photos are from an artillery range in Meppen, officially known as WTD-91, or Wehrtechnische Dienststelle 91, located in the Lower Saxony region of Germany. They show a massive mounted piece of armament that's camouflaged and clearly a military issue. Is it some type of cannon? Is it something to do with radar? Might it be a decoy that attracts enemy fire away from legitimate military targets? It turns out that the machine in the photo is what the Germans refer to as a Schalldämpfer, or a silencer. This giant silencer was purposefully built for an M109G 155mm self-propelled howitzer used by the German Defense Force, or Abwehr. The length of barrel that's encompassed by the silencer sleeve has gas vents drilled into it that allows the propellant gas to escape. This results in some of the energy from the fired rounds being lost as it exits the barrel at less than the speed of sound, reducing reverberations and producing a deafening sonic boom. The steel construction allows for the shell dampfer to be lifted into position and used when firing at a 30 degree elevation. However, it cannot be attached to the turret of the howitzer because the intense recoil of the silencer would harm the turret barrel. Experts have suggested that the seal around the barrel may be of a rubber type membrane, which would allow it some movement. This would have little to no effect on the targeting or resetting of the barrel to its original position. The sides of the silencer can be opened to allow for the expansion of the muzzle blast from the howitzer. The holes on the silencer are located behind and in front of the suppressor and are kept as small as possible to maximize sound reduction. Silencers can reduce artillery noise by as much as 20 decibels, which is helpful in artillery testing, also known in military jargon as arty training. The pictured silencer is almost certainly fixed, because mobility on most arty ranges, as they are known, is not usually required. Gun points tend to be fixed, with artillery guns firing from a static, pre-surveyed position. These points are clearly marked in arty ranges with the direction of fire indicated. Tests are done to ensure that these artillery guns are firing correctly and accurately. The reason for this unique and sizable construction is simple to ensure that the German locals don't get highly aggravated by the thunderous explosions of heavy artillery fire in their backyards. Given the European continent's relatively dense population, local military, American or NATO forces often operate close to civilian areas. For example, downtown Meppen is situated less than a mile from the artillery range where the silencer is located. Germany also has among the most stringent ambient noise pollution laws in the world, and local German communities are known for readily complaining when military forces make excessive noise. Some analysts have noted, however, that other artillery guns that lack a Schalldämpfer are being tested close to communities in Germany. Could it be that the silencer is a one-off prototype, or even a white elephant? Nevertheless, according to the German military website Relikte, this particular silencer at the Meppen testing range has been highly effective. The site states, quote, to reduce the loud firing bang, a shooting silencer was tested on the M109A3G self-propelled howitzer. The acoustic effect was enormous. The howitzer has a long prized place in the history of warfare and armaments. It's a type of artillery equipment used to propel projectiles over relatively high trajectories. Howitzers, like other artillery equipment, are usually organized in groups called batteries. Their distinct advantage is their steep angle of descent, with batteries of howitzers sending warheads raining down on enemy targets. The M109, for which the silencer was constructed, is an American 155mm turreted self-propelled howitzer, first introduced in the early 1960s to replace the M44. The M109 family of howitzers is the most common Western indirect fire support weapon for armored and mechanized infantry divisions. Howitzers have evolved into having relatively long barrels and high muzzle velocities, combined with multiple propelling charges and high maximum elevations. As a result, they make a big bang. And that big bang makes a lot of noise. A report from the Defense Technical Information Center reveals that the U.S. Army also uses silencers for both 105mm and 120mm howitzers. These are used at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. Once again, it was chiefly complaints by locals, this time those of Chesapeake Bay, 
that forced a military to devise a giant silencer for its testing of artillery fire. Residents were especially annoyed because artillery blast sounds can be highly directional, sounding very near and very loud. There are different series of photos of this massive German artillery silencer. Some of them shown here read, quote, courtesy Palkutter. This strongly suggests that they were taken by Manfred Palkutter, a leading German specialist and author on modern era tanks and artillery. Different views of this Schalldampfer could also be seen on the aforementioned German military website, Relikte, and its page dedicated to the Meppen military testing grounds. Ultimately, there is no denying that the silencer, or Schalldampfer, is an impressive piece of machinery. Perhaps it should be called an Uber Schalldämpfer. Mm -hmm. 